Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Our programming all day since 6 a.m. Eastern has been inspired by a show that's premiering tomorrow night on our sister network TNT. It's called Mob City. It starts at 9 p.m. Eastern and continues over the next three Wednesdays with two episodes each night for a total of six episodes and hopefully many more after that. It brings back to life Los Angeles of the 1940s, not the area's glamorous side, but the underbelly of crime that also went on there. Back with me to talk about our next movie is the man who plays real-life gangster Bugsy Siegel in Mob City, Ed Burns. Welcome again, Ed. Happy to be here. Good to have you here. Now, our next movie comes from director John Huston, has a great cast, Humphrey Bogart, Edward G. Robinson, Lauren Bacall, Lionel Barrymore, and Claire Trevor. It's Key Largo from Warner Brothers in 1948. I have to say, uh, this is such a great cast and a great ensemble cast. And I know you just worked with a great ensemble cast. What is that like that's so different than most movies? Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I, I was very lucky in that first film that I acted in outside of one of mine was Private Ryan, which featured a great ensemble. Uh -huh. And, you know, on that film, we became such a, a tight-knit group. It felt almost more like a, uh, a sports team. You know, everyone had one another's back. Everyone was helping one another. And then when you have a, a, a scene where you have a number of actors, five, six actors in one scene, and you've been playing a lot together, there is a, uh, a kind of rhythm that can sort of slip into the scenes, which can be a lot of fun. And a lot of actors will talk after, you know, you have a bigger scene like that, and the director calls cut. You will sort of look at one another and you know, oh, that was the take. We kind of, we found it. Um, I know some people uh, equate it to when a band is on, like mm -hmm. they just found their groove, and actors can, can find the same thing. Uh, the cast of Mob City was very much a, a similar type of thing. Uh, I got to work with a great bunch of actors. We all hit it off uh, immediately. And you, ta you know, we, we fell right in. And it's another situation where I've got a number of scenes where it's me and my, my four guys in Bugsy's gang, Robert Neffer, Milo Ventimiglia, Jeremy Luke, Richard Blake, and we just, we worked well together. You know, it's like a basketball team. So where does that come from? Who creates that? Is that the director? Is that the script? Is that the... It's a combination of all of that and a little bit of the movie gods, or in this case, the, uh, you know, the TV gods smiling mm -hmm. on you. Um, I think it's a combination of the director having a really good eye having a sense of the different personalities and who's going to work well together. Uh, I always think uh, a lot of it has to do also with the script. You know, if those scenes are well written, it's much easier to play. And then there is just the, you know, you get lucky sometimes where, you know, the personalities of the cast click. Mm -hmm. Whether they click uh, personally or there's something about you know, our own personalities and what we're bringing to our respective characters that just sort of lines up and works well. And, you know, we, we constantly talked on the set of Mob City. You know, an actor would come in and he would have three lines, a day player. And everybody who showed up was so good. Everybody was bringing their A game. Part of it, you know, Frank found great actors, but, you know, they had great lines to speak and they had a great leader at the helm. Mm -hmm. So for, the, for us, the regulars, when a guy would come in and do that, we'd all look at one another and say, oh, we gotta, you got to show up today and play mm -hmm. ball. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's nice when everybody's on the same page. And wouldn't it have been fun to be on the set of this movie oh, with, wow, these, what a cast, with huh? these people? They're all so good individually and working together so well in this. Yeah, and They're also, all great professionals. And you, the same things apply, you know, terrific words. Uh -huh. Master filmmaker at the helm. Right. You know, the, the you know, great films. Yeah, and great parts. They've all got uh, yeah, great parts. Yeah. yeah, and all I'm sure respected each other. I mean, who wouldn't respect Lionel Barrymore yeah. or Claire Trevor with all she's done? And yeah. then of course Bacall and Bogart and Robinson, and Robinson all of them. Yeah. Well, let's see the film. Here from nineteen forty eight, co written by John Houston and Richard Brooks, Key Largo. <laughs> 